Hi everyone, welcome back to the Luxury Live Show. With me here is my gorgeous co-host, fashionably Amy. It's good to see everyone. Apologize for a little delay. It's my fault. I was running late. So today we have a topic on big bags because everyone has been well posting their bigger bags. I think luxury brands are also sharing bigger bags. So it's the question like, are big bags back? I don't know. Do you think they are? <laughs> I, think I don't they know. are, but mini bags are still in. Like mm. the big bags are back, but it doesn't mean that the mini bags are going anywhere. In, in fact, mini bags and micro bags are just as strong, I think. Maybe people are carrying both now, just like ah, <laughs> maybe it's a double bagging trend. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's a double bagging trend. So we have some slides to share with all of, all of you. It is um just our picks, you know, Amy's picked some, I've picked some on big bags that I kind of like and I think there are you know if you're into the trend then these would be maybe some suggestions for all of you if you are new to this luxury live show we do this every single week so this week is on my channel next week is going to be on Amy's channel and yeah you just got to subscribe to both of us we do have a members session as well so let me just share the slides and then we can talk through it Yes, and while Kat does that, I want to remind everyone that next week on my channel, we have Karis coming on our show, so LV Lover CC, and it will be super exciting. It'll be a different timing, and uh, so yeah, next Friday, it will be 10 a.m. here in Pacific Time or 1 p.m. in Eastern Time Zone, so those of you who are in the Eastern Time Zone and also Probably those of you in Europe can watch it, right? Since it's a little earlier. So it's yep. kind of your evening, I think. Yep, yep, yep. We ah. wanted to make sure like we get a balance. So unfortunately, <laughs> us in Asia, <laughs> we're going to have a little bit of a late start. So I guess yeah. that will be maybe if, you're, if you can't, it's too late, you know, then watch it um, the next day. You know, Karis, is this a is this a third time? No, second time that she's second joined time, us. Second time, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So and yeah, it'll be a the... really good one. It's uh, we're gonna start at ten o'clock sharp. She's only gonna be available for the first hour and a half or so. So mm -hmm. that's why, uh, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of her time here, and that's why we also gathered some questions ahead of time, which we have more than enough. <laughs> so um, yeah, it should be really, really fun. And there's, yeah, I think one of the topic we're gonna discuss is pretty much in everyone's mind. It'll be a good one. It'll be a good mm -hmm. one. Yes. Okay. So this is the calendar. Today is the public, and then next week public again. Then we have one members towards the end of the month. We'll start working on September, and yeah, you can see that on our community post. Yes. So like I said, if you are interested to be a member, we have committee. We have crew. We've created a really awesome like community here yes. like yeah it's so good so yeah you can join us be a committee be a crew and if you have questions on this live put a bunch of question marks on the front of your question we'll pull comments as well and we can get started i'll pass it to amy okay thank you kat okay so um big bags huh for chanel i feel like it's always about the same ones. I think the Deauville is a no-brainer. Whenever people think of, oh, wh which big bag can I get from Chanel that is, you know, really big? Uh, the Chanel Deauville. Obviously, the price has gone up by leaps and bounds uh, since the, the last time I bought mine. I think the last time I bought mine, was it 2018? Or when was it? Or, no, no, maybe even earlier. 17, so. maybe? I think so. And... Um, yeah, it's already. I got it at the same out. time as you. I know, yeah. Check. But you know, they have revamped the bag a little bit. They also added a new size. So now there is kind of, you know, when we bought ours, there was only, you know, for the one that had both the handle and the shoulder strap, it only came in uh the large and the extra large. I think now there's a small size too. So the large that we bought now uh, is maybe the medium. Uh, so that's good. There's more to, you know, more sizes to play with. And also there's the extra pouch, which is very close to, um, like, it's very similar to how, like, the Neverfull is. They added the extra flat pouch. 
Um, so I still really like the bag. I'm not gonna lie. Like I still really, really like the bag. I have st never still seen or tried the smalls, the new small size. So that will be interesting to see one day, hopefully, if it's ever in stock, of course. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you know, if I was ever looking for a big bag and I really didn't care that, um, it was in fabric, no structure, all of those things. Cause you know, with fabric bags, there is the fabric bag disadvantage of more wear and tear on the corners and this and that. But, um, you know, if you're looking for a casual style and not necessarily, um, you know, you, you don't have a lot of requirements other than you just love the brand, so you want to buy it, then the Deauville is always a good choice. And I'm mm. curious, who actually owns the Deauville and still loves it? Mm. I really want to know. It's a bag that uh, we we tried it, right? And yeah. it, it we didn't, didn't work out for us because of our lifestyles. We didn't need such a big bag. But and also back then they didn't have the new small size. Correct, correct. I think if they had the new small, I would have still owned this bag because the new small just seems a bit more versatile for my yeah. lifestyle and probably yours as well, right? Because it's just a little. It is smaller, but it's a bit bigger that I can put more things, but not too big that I don't have enough things to put inside the bag. Yeah, and I, you know, I actually really like the Deauville. I think there's something about the two different straps. Uh, 2017, love... I found it. I found it. 2017. <laughs> yeah, it was 2017. Yeah, it was a lot, like five years ago already. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Um. So five years later, this, they decided to do a new small size. Good job. <laughs> five but, uh, years you know, later. Like, uh, it, it just shows that... I think big bags are definitely back, uh, but they're adding more variety. And also they are aware that people still love their mini bags. So they are giving us more options, right? And they're adding more accessories, the little pouch and everything. So I like that. I like that a lot. And in the grand scheme of things, it's still a more affordable Chanel bag, <laughs> right? It's still a very affordable Chanel bag for Chanel prices. Um, and you're getting a lot of bag, although in fabric, but still you're getting a lot of bag. So I really still like it. I hopefully one day I can try on one one of the smallest size one. It would be nice to I don't know. I might be really tempted. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why would I be tempted? Is because I no longer have the 22. So a lot of you uh might have seen my my um video that I had to, well, I had to leave my bag behind. And uh, essentially, you know, essentially what my store is doing is that uh, they, they're they just taking it back. And because there's no refund, I'm essentially just, you know, I just have a huge credit now sitting at my store. Um, but having said that, I still love this bag so much. I honestly wish that um, there wasn't so much premature wear and tear. Um, not just mine, you know, I, I think we've actually seen a lot of videos circulating lately. Um, luckily, not everybody's having issues. I think Michelle Wong is one of the lucky ones. A few other people are the lucky ones. And that is uh, amazing. Uh, I wish mine was too. But having, having at least had the bag for a little while and used it a few times, I can tell you this is such a good bag. It's flat, but it's a larger size. It's so stylish. And honestly, if there was no issues, right? If there was no issues, the leather and everything, the style is so cool and so nice. And so I really still like it. I, I don't know what to tell you. I would still recommend it from a point of view of style. Um, whether there may or may not be issues, that's just something that we won't know until you own it. Um, yeah. So in addition to the 22, right, this current season, they also came out with a Chanel 19 shopping bag, which is very similar, kind of flat profile, double chain with the um, CC lock of the 19, like, you know, the 19 brooch lock. 
really cool as well. Between the two, I still prefer the 22. There's something about the 22 that is super casual and kind of young and fresh that I like. Uh, but the 19 is another option. Mm. How are you warming up to the 22 now or not I, really? Um, okay, I can be objective. Yes. I think that when I tried the 22 small in store, I understood why you love the bag so much and why so many people, when they first tried it, they enjoyed it. So for me, my I think it's a uh, yeah, I, I'm warming up to it. I think it's beautiful. It's just that um I think the price is sort of holding me back to say that it's worth buying. But just from a style and functionality perspective, it is a good, nice sized bag. Small. Not the not the shopping. I've never tried the shopping, I've never tried the larger one, but the small is just enough of additional space that makes the bag more functional. You can put a little bit more things inside, but it's not bulky because it has this thinner profile and it lays very beautifully on the body because the leather is soft and it's quite malleable. Is that the word malleable? Yeah. And it mm. just molds on your body. And when you put it on your lap, it doesn't have, it, it, you don't have this junk, chunky thing that's in front of your chest that you got to yeah. hold. In fact, it just lays really nicely Um on your lap and you know when you're sitting down you're at dinner it doesn't take up a lot of space so yeah i can see why a lot of people when they first tried it it's it's almost like love at first sight mm. it truly is um yeah. the cons i'm gonna just say the cons the cons mm. i think is definitely where they where the leather scrunches in they're not the first leather house that to do scrunching of leather, but maybe their decision to make the bag this kind of soft bag and then glaze it, I think that maybe is the mistake because it's kind of stiff, you know, when you've got to scrunch it multiple times. It's nice to look at and it feels good, but maybe that's why people are getting a lot of issues with it. You know, overall, the bag itself, where you see the Chanel and the big quilts, I don't see any issues in that whole part because I actually tried the store version. And the store version, because people will try it, like I was trying out playing around with it. Overall, the bag is okay. It's just that top part that has issues. So it, it could be a leather decision. Um, yeah, that I mean, leather it's, makes it's the bag kind of nice weird, right? Um, because as I'm reading some of the comments, so Charmaine, she has the caramel. And hers was completely fine. She wears it in hot weather, goes to the beach, everything. Ugh. And that isn't what's supposed to be, right? Like you you expect your bag to perform, at least normally, <laughs> which is yeah. great. I, I love to hear those things. Um, but it's unfortunate that we will not really know until you have it and then you've worn it and then see, which, yep. you know, it's kind of very unfortunate because I truly, truly still miss this bag so, so much. Yeah, it's a good bag. Like if you're looking for a bigger Chanel bag that's not as yeah. gigantic as the Deville, because that's like the only other large bag that they have, right? Oh wait, mm, they have some like hobo style bags, but sort of like this kind of more stylish ones. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this is the other one, and yeah, I'm warming up to it. I just wish that the price was like the Deville prices. This is a yeah, lot. Yeah, true, 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 true. But anyway. Just gonna Throw this into from Sandra. Just bought the new small Deauville in pink, light pink. My first Deauville, I love it. I'm scared of getting it dirty, so I haven't used it. <laughs> use it, use it. You use have it, to use, it. use it. Look at me, I'm using my. Oh, yes. The one that Amy <laughs> blew the on the live. Bag. Well, we'll call it the, the funny bag now. I made it funny because of my silliness <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go to the next one okay all right so chanel aside of course we had to go and look at Hermes, one of my favorite brands now uh one of the first ones that i thought about right off the bat is this one a very simple tote called the garden party uh there's many versions it comes in leather comes in canvas 
I found this one online um, in Euro, so it's some European MS site, and I love it. I love how I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the black and white. And also, if you can see the fabric close up, like when I was browsing and looking at the fabric close up, the fabric on this or whatever canvas, whatever you want to call it, is really, really nice the way it's woven. Uh, the interior is also lined in leather, which is just spectacular. And having a whole new appreciation for Hermes, of course, from the past two years of being a loyal client now, um, I just, even though I don't have this bag, I can already appreciate it. That's That's how, like my expectation is so high now. I just kind of feel and know that whatever attracts me, I will like. And the price is so reasonable. Oh my gosh, that is like one of the biggest thing. Like, what? It's such a good price. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's very simple. It's super simple. Uh, if you don't know the brand, you just know, don't even know it's Hermes. But I guess that's also the beauty of it. You know, there is a time and place for very fashion, very logo forward things, such as LV and Chanel and other brands. But there's also times where you just want to be very understated, under the radar, if nobody knows, that's great. If people know, that's also great. And this is this is it. You oh, had one. You had a I garden had party. One. I actually really enjoyed my garden party. It was it's such a good bag. It fits a lot. And then this Nagano, or they call it like country leather. I think that was a name before. It was it's really tough. The only reason I sold my bag is. I think I shouldn't have gotten it in pink, what, rose sakura. It was a rose sakura garden party tote in a size 36. So it's a huge, huge pink bag. And maybe I kind of outgrew my love for pink. I love pink. I, I, it's, I love Hello Kitty. I mean, how can you not love pink? But I think for a big bag, like big bag, I, I felt like it was a bit much for me at that time. Mm. Fast forward to today, maybe I should have kept it and I would still use it. But I feel like I should have gotten like a bigger size, like the six in a more neutral color and got that bag in a size 30. Pink Sakura, mm. I mean, rose Sakura in a size 30 is so much cuter, like a, like a, like a B25. I think that I would yeah. have kept that. Yeah. So color aside, it's a good bag it's it's uh it was really well priced when i got it i think it was maybe oh because mine was full leather this is not full leather so mine was like in the 2000 euros yeah yeah but this is that that was like full nagano or country leather whereas this yeah. is half and it's real honestly for a tote bag from hermes big beautiful bag pretty okay yeah. for the price Oh, Charmaine. Oh my goodness, Charmaine, you have all the bags. So Charmaine has this exact same garden party. <laughs> ah! She uses it as a diaper bag and it's super light. Yeah, it's it just it's looks lighter. very, very striking and simple, but like just very, just very nice. Like I I really like the silhouette. Um not 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 necessarily the silhouette of the bag, but just the silhouette of how like the two stripes, you know, the two black leather trim and then the this canvas that contrasts really well. It just looks striking to me. Uh, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, if I was shopping for a garden party, this would be something I would be, I would be like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Can I get it? Like, that would be me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instead of the plain black, all black leather, for me, that would be too plain, actually. I, I kind of like this contrast very, very actually, much. Actually, this is nice. And because it's yeah. two materials, it's lighter. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the next one. Awesome. And while you move on to the next one, I just want to point out. So I, I saw Diana's comment. Diana, I didn't get a refund, by the way. There's no refund in Canada, but I did get um, it. I basically have a credit sitting sitting uh, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere I have to use it some day. I, uh, there's no refund in Canada, unfortunately. Um, okay. The her bag. So... You know, I um, I didn't like the her bag so much before. I not because I don't like the silhouette. I actually quite like the look of it because of of course it reminds us of a Kelly, 
Um, but I always thought that maybe the closure would be an annoying thing. Um, which I think it's still going to be an annoying thing, to be honest. Um, but I do know that a lot of people use their her bags without closing it. And so oh. if that is the case, then it's acceptable. So it's more like a tote that has a, sh a shoulder strap, like a crossbody strap. So if you treat it that way, um, then I think the her bag is also another nice contender. Because again, the price is very reasonable for Almez, especially uh, it's a very reasonable price. It's a really cool looking bag. It really is. Um, and I like the back pocket edition. And so, yeah, all in all, I think it's just a wonderful looking cool bag. It's very fresh and young. Uh, if you get it in a color that you like, then again, if depending on the canvas and the leather trim combination, you can get a really cool one. So I think I like it from that perspective. And if, and only if, uh, I don't have to open and close it all the time. Like if I were just to use it open completely, then then yes, I think it's it's something to explore. Hmm. I never yeah, thought of using this bag when it's open. I think I tried this in store. Mm. The one with the Pegasus embroidered like drawing on it. I think I tried it. I can't recall right now. And um it's tough. Like it's the leather part, the what does it call it? A uh, cowhide hunter cowhide is really, really stiff, and it doesn't, from what I recall, what my essay said, it doesn't really soften over time. It continues to be really sturdy, and that's because it's for equestrian, so it's tough leather. Um. From a look perspective, yeah, it looks like the Kelly. I love the fact that they have two pockets. So one on the outside and they give you an additional little pouch. So I think that's really nice touch for the bag. Would I get it? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying I would, but I, mm. I just like the look of it. And I like yeah, the, the look is okay. It. Yeah, the look is yeah. okay. Yeah. I it's think like a it's young version of the Kelly. Trying. Maybe to get it pre-loved, like, you know, just to try it out. If you can find something pre-loved that you really... Uh, first of all, if you only if you need a big bag, right? Number yeah, one, yeah, you need yeah. a big bag. Number two, you like this style. And number three, you can put up with not opening and closing the closure all the time. However, if you live in a very crowded... Like, if, if the city that you live in and, and everywhere you go is very crowded, there's no way you don't close your bag. So maybe this is not for you anyway. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's only if you can have these three criteria and you're okay with it. Um, I could imagine me not closing this bag if I were to own this. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. A really yeah, good dupe good. of this bag is the Ray bag. Yeah. <laughs> It's really I good. Really, the Ray bag is really good. Actually. I think if I wanted to get like this bag, I would prefer to buy something that's yeah, much more yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still. I'm. I'm. I'm on the fence on this. But this. Ah, okay. I like. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I thought about the Lindy as well. Uh, obviously, not the mini Lindy. But any, anything above the mini Lindy, so 26, maybe 30, uh, those are, you know, the 30 is pretty large, right? Uh, personally, I would never get it because I'm not attracted to the really like slouched dumpling on my shoulder. Like I'm not attracted to that look. I think I, I don't mind it uh, on other people. I just don't know if I like it on me. Uh, and it, I don't even know if I like having to reach in and out knowing that everything is kind of like swimming inside. I, I have that feeling that it's doing that. Um, but aside from that, right, I know a lot of people are big, big fans of the regular size min Lindy's, not the mini, just the regular sizes. Um, so I know for a fact that this bag is still very popular for a good reason. And um, it's getting harder and harder to get, especially size 26. But if you do like it, I think this is a great option, especially if you're into Hermes now and if you're, you know, you're not always, you, you can't always buy quarter bags, right? So like having the opportunity to buy something like this and if you actually find it useful and it suits you, then I think this is actually a good bag. Mm. I 
vouch for the Lindy. I had the 26. It's definitely one bag that I hope to get back in my collection in the future. When I'm done with the quarter bags, I'm like, yeah, there's nothing else, you know, to get anymore. I would love to get this back in my collection. I, I really like the Lindy. 30. Okay, since we're talking about big bags, I think the 30, the 26 are great sizes. 26 is definitely smaller. It's like a Birkin. Uh, sorry, it's like the Speedy 25, but with handles and straps and just looking so much more luxurious. <laughs> but the 30, I have seen people carry the 30 and it's a great traveling bag because it's so much more space. Uh, you can swap it to your shoulder. You can handheld it and it has two side pockets as well, which makes it so, uh, so convenient for you to put your um, little tickets or maybe even your passport. Easy to get in and out of the bag. The only thing is, you know, you got to like the dumpling look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the only thing for me. Yeah. Get it in, other, get it in gold or a tube or something like that. I think those would be really, really nice, nice neutrals for you. Ah, I love this bag. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. Yeah, you can get it back. Okay, let's move on to LV. Okay, so LV, uh, one of the probably more popular one now is the on the go. So obviously they have the in MM size, they have it in GM size, they have it in the new PM size. The PM size is a small bag, so let's forget about that one. You have to have at least MM or GM. Um, look, I I tried this bag. I I actually bought it online, and of course, when mine arrived and I saw the way it was made, I was appalled and I couldn't believe how bad the QC had passed that bag. So obviously I had returned it, but that also gave me the opportunity to try it on. And I, um, I think for me, the MM size is just that in between size where you can't even fit your laptop, like my laptop anyway, even though my 13 inch is a 13 inch laptop, but you know how like different years laptop nowadays they have smaller 13 inch but mine is still the larger size so it didn't fit that so that kind of was strike number one strike number two was the quality control and strike number three was you know it was just still a lot of money but I know a lot of people love this bag though a lot of people who watch my video uh you know a lot of people kind of identified the same issue as me they also receive an on the go that was kind of like what is this why is it like this but a lot of people that got good ones and use theirs they love it so i know this bag has a market and there's a reason because you know as i said we we need big bags sometimes <laughs> even though we still love our mini bags but we do need big bags sometimes and the mm size is definitely um it's a good in-between size if you don't need to put your laptop in it i think that is what this is if you mm. need to put your laptop um Go for the GM, but then it will be very, very heavy. So I would, I wouldn't even know if I would even do that at all. I would just use a laptop bag. <laughs> agreed, yeah. agreed. I, I like this actually. When it first came out, I thought it was LV's interpretation of Chanel's Deville. Yeah, because of the handles, the strap, and just a little bit more boxy. So kind of cuter in a way because. Chanel's one is more rectangular. This is just like a typical square. I actually liked it when it came out. Uh, I didn't need a big bag, so I didn't go out and buy it. But now that I'm kind of looking at it, yeah, I may have to reconsider since I'm looking for a north-south bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a great little bag for put some documents, yes. um, some bigger things like maybe your water bottle, your umbrella, uh, maybe a little book, your diary, and maybe an iPad, not necessarily a laptop. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be good enough. And, and again, because it has the handle for the handheld handles, shorter handles, it makes the bag, even though it's bigger and has more things, um, more forgiving to carry. But if you do need your hand for whatever reason, then you can just sling the shoulder straps on your shoulder and carry it uh, for a little bit. I don't think it's one of those bags that you could carry on your shoulder for a long extended period of time. It will get tiring, especially if you have a lot of things inside. So having the 
shorter handles is makes the bag a little bit more forgiving, you know, and versatile to carry. Would yeah. I? Okay, it's one of those things you have to have the need for it. I think. Yeah. Um, I was just unlucky that I received one that was I didn't know why there was like you know threads popping out and just all kinds of, and it smelled really horrible as well. Uh, so obviously I returned it immediately. But aside from that, I think it's supposed to be a really cute design. And if you need a bag this size for for whatever reason, could be work like Kat said, then I I really do like it. Um. And then they also came out with the on point leather version, right? I haven't seen that one yet in person, but I would imagine it would be pretty nice. Probably a bit heavier, but I think that one is really nice. Yeah, it looks more professional. Yeah. Yeah. More appropriate for work setting. So yeah. I love it. I am kind of like warming up again to it. But though I, I'm surprised that the price has gone up quite a bit, huh? I yeah, I think... Um, Honestly, I don't remember exactly how much when I try to purchase the on-the-go reverse monogram on the left, but it was already in the three thousands before tax. Maybe not three nine, but it was. I can't remember. Maybe three five. I can't remember. But this is before tax, right? This three nine. This is be all before tax. Yeah, Canada. Everything is before sales tax. Yeah. Right. Okay. One more. One more. Uh, yeah, I think I have. One or two more. Okay, so the never full, of course. Um, this one is a no-brainer. I think this is a classic kind of like, you know, when you think of LV, you think of speedies and never fulls. Um, I don't know if the never full is just not as popular anymore, although I still think that it will always be popular. Like it, people still will buy it. Um, whether you went with just the plain monogram, right, which is, I couldn't believe the price now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, but if you just went a little bit more adventurous and you buy something a bit more, um, it's like seasonal. So in the middle, we have this completely brand new one, which has silver canvas and then it has the garden flowers on it. It's so pretty. I, I was like, wow, it's so nice. Of course, it's already sold out. Um, but this one, I was like literally attracted to it right off the bat. I don't need another Nefofold, but I'm just saying like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I love how cute it is. Really well done. Um, but also, of course, they also have the kind of that rainbow, eh, not really tie-dye, but like that rainbow pastel canvas as well. That was also a limited edition seasonal one that came out recently. That one's really cute too. And so, yeah, there's still a lot of choice if you don't like just the regular monogram. Uh, obviously, it's still a lot of logo, not arguing that. But I feel like this bag, it's it's been doing well for so many years for a reason. And it's still popular for a reason. Maybe not as crazy popular, but it's still popular. Yeah, never full. I mean, <laughs> this one is like the most classic of classic bags. Like Just like the speedy, yeah. you say never full. Everybody knows it's a bigger bag. And now that the trend is back and you don't want to get other trendy bags, you can always rely on a good LV Neverfull. Exactly, yeah. All right. I think that's your last one. Okay, I'm going to go okay, now. Okay, yeah. All it right. Is. So... I love this did, one. I, yeah, I knew Amy about this Chanel, one. Chanel, Hermes, and LV. LV. Yeah. yeah, so I did other brands just to, you know, see what we have in the other brand category on large bags. So this is the one that has been all over social media. The mm -hmm. YSL Eye Care Maxi Shopping Bag in Quilted Lambskin. I mean, can we say big bags are back? <laughs> <laughs> this is a really, really big bag. <laughs> This is so big. Uh, just let's look at the um, description. Maxi shopping bag with toggle closure featuring a removable zip pouch. Oh, okay. So it has an internal zip pouch. I didn't see that on the uh, website. And then it's decorated with a hair quilted over stitching and the new sculpted jewel YSL iconic signature, a gigantic YSL logo. 90% lambskin. Basically, the whole bag's lambskin and it got a bit of that logo, which is brass. It is huge. 
58 mm. centimeters by 43 by 8 centimeters. So it's 8 centimeters in profile. It's 58 centimeters in, I get height, and then 43 wow. centimeters in width. It is ginormous. But it's kind of cool at the same time. It's obnoxiously large. It's like you, you're, you are going grocery shopping with this giant lambskin bag that says YSL. You can't miss it. Look at the size of that YSL logo. <laughs> it's like my hand. <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, um, you know, I, I saw Joe's comment. She said, she she would have liked if the logo was shrinked about 10% its size. And I, I, I mean, I don't disagree, but at the same time, I feel like they did it so large for a reason. It's, it's just to basically say, hey, big bags are back, okay? It, they really are, <laughs> and we're going to make a huge logo out of it too. Um, yeah, it, this, yeah, this bag could have easily been a CC logo easily could have been a Chanel bag and people would Easy. flock in and buy it because that's what's happening to this YSL bag. It's just so good looking. It's so cool. Um, obviously, I think it's a bit trendy, of course, but man, when they do it this good, when it's this cool and it's quilted and it's lambskin and it kind of, it, it, it kind of molds your body if you don't fill it to the brim. It really is so cool. I am super attracted to it. Of course, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna go there, but I am, I am attracted to it a lot. <laughs> I would say that Joe, if they shrunk the logo and put it at the corner, it would be just a plain lambskin yeah. bag. That you know, if I was in Thailand, I would say, "Oh, Naraya." <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be one of those you know quilted cotton bags that I'm like, I, I, I'll get one of those. You know, it's great for shopping how many hundred baht but because they say okay we don't want to look like naraya we're gonna smash this giant <laughs> ysl logo yeah make it as big as my fit head and now it's ysl <laughs> yeah you know they probably tried they probably tried to like shrink it and it didn't look good and they're it like you know what no 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 let's go back to the plain. regular <laughs> logo too plain I'm, I'm just putting my finger on the screen like nah too plain you need mm -hmm. something large like, you're right. If Chanel did a two giant CCs like that, yep. it'll be all over it. Game over. People like, everyone's going to be back as well. It's all over his back. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. If you are considering the eye care, this is, it's 6,000 Singapore dollars. You can't even buy it. It's sold out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, not kidding. It's true. I don't know. I don't it's know. super hot. This is the hottest it bag right now. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I put it because it's a hot bag, but yeah, I don't know. It, I, it really looks like a giant shopping bag, but it, it is a shopping bag. It's a shopping bag. Yes. <laughs> I think that is the point, right? Like, if if you if you're a big bag person and you like that the trend is back, there you go. <laughs> go all <laughs> out, medicine. all out. Okay, all out. <laughs> okay, so something a little bit more acceptable, I guess, or maybe not so trendy and maybe more long-lasting would be a raffia bag from YSL. And look at the price difference. <laughs> so 1600 Singapore dollars. This is the Panier medium bag in raffia. An alternative to the regular totes. This is actually made handmade in Madagascar. And it's the, you know, um, most luxury brand, brands have a raffia bag now. I think Loewe was one of the first that I recall. So, yeah, this is simple. Um, it has the logo that's now not even on the bag. On a little, what do you call these? Toggles? The clochette. Clochettes, yeah, which you yeah. think, okay, I don't want, YSL, don't want a YSL to show. You can just remove it. It'll be just a regular bag. I, I I like it. I think it's a it's a nice little raffia bag. Yeah, it's a very simple, um, just branded raffia bag. I feel, and there is Correct. a place and time for a raffia bag. I don't 
I don't think I'll ever buy one, but like, you know, if I did buy one, it wouldn't be from YSL or Chanel or LV, anything like that. It would just be from Murda. <laughs> uh, not my street, but you know, from like um contemporary, contemporary brand. If, if I might I, even go to a craft and art shop. Like sorry? Craft and arts. Just I, I'm sure they make them make them. But yeah, oh, you okay. want a luxury branded one. Uh YSL has yeah. one now. And it's definitely in trend for the big bag trend. Uh, I'm moving on to Celine. Wow. Can we get bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the wings. So this is brand new. Uh, I think it's from the runway. This is the medium Kufin leather triumph bag in smooth calfskin they i think i only saw 10 color right now so this is uh brand new it has this really smooth beautiful like velvet interior and it's just just this bag okay that's an interior pocket um and yeah what else can you say it's uh celine's version of the shopper eye care shopper bag huge huge it's like a new interpretation of the mini luggage except by the new designer because you know celine's all about the wings right <laughs> i i like i like it because it's kind of runway cool i'm not sure how practical it is that it it flares out so much basically you wouldn't put anything to um like anything that you would be scared of losing in it right because anybody can just stick their arm <laughs> and grab whatever is <laughs> on the side <laughs> and look, it's i really guess this stuff. is sort of like um maybe you have a big jacket yeah yeah exactly like it's something that you don't care if people did, did try to steal it because it's just a whatever clothing but yeah it's it's a bit strange like i wonder what what's the like what what's the market like what which which people will actually go for this bag and for what? Like, is it more a beach bag, but it's leather? And the then leather, is it more... Though. Yeah, like, is it a lounging bag? Like, what is this? <laughs> it's not a work bag for sure. <laughs> Celine, what is this? I know. <laughs> I'm kind well, of questioning, I mean, like, what is just the practicality of this? Like, a raffia, I can see. It's more summer vibe, beach vibe. Yeah, I can get it. But this, I just don't know. <laughs> well, you know, everyone's on trend with the big bag trend, right? Mm, so yes. Celine says, okay, let's not do the regular, you know, 20 degree out <laughs> tote, like a, like a never full. Let's go all the way, you know, 45 degrees. I know. <laughs> we out. Of, yeah. Very fashion forward, very runway, like you said. And if you want a bag that stands out just like the YSL, it just super stands out. This stands out. And if you have a purpose for it, like you maybe it's during the winter, you've got a large coat that, you know, will stick out at the corners. You don't yeah. want it to hang over, you know, hang over the bag. This would be a good bag that keeps the whole large, long coat in your bag. It's... <laughs> Kind of looks like an Ikea bag. And it's just for your coat. Actually, I'm going to pull this comment. This one is good. This bag maybe is for someone with an assistant to help carry this bag most of the time. Ha ha. I think, <laughs> yeah, because otherwise I don't see how... <laughs> I don't see the use of this bag. Or maybe it's for the very um, posh people that are always carrying some clothes around. Like maybe they need to change their... Maybe for an influencer who's always changing, taking new pictures, maybe... Then, yeah, you're carrying a really cool bag on top of that while you're carrying the, the stuff that you need to change into. But then if someone did try to steal that T-shirt inside, well, okay. I'm, I'm going to be sad that a T-shirt is gone, but at least it's not my wallet or something like that, right? Mm. So <laughs> True, true. It's just true. interesting that they interesting. decided to do this. It's brand new. So sooner or later, we will see how influencers, like those real... To tomorrow and all of those how they carry it and we'll observe <laughs> yeah I definitely see this more as a vacation bag okay 
I had to pull this because this is what I mean by other brands doing drawstring. Mm. So this is the Kabaz drawstring triumph. Um, also new. Um, look at the interior. So it's, I think it's velvet. I don't think it's raw cow. I don't think it's raw leather. Doesn't make it's sense to be suede calfskin lining. Ah, suede. All right, there we go. Suede, suede. Sorry, not velvet. Suede calfskin lining. Beautiful. So it's really soft, and they have a drawstring for this. Yeah. Again, like so. The, so if you don't want to get the um, Chanel twenty two version, you like a drawstring. You like how it'll singe in, kind of be more, you know, bucket style like this. Celine has your bag. Two colors right now, tan and black. Way cheaper than Chanel. Maybe more functional. I don't know. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this one. So one minute is a tote. One minute is more tote bucket yeah. style. I kind of like it. I don't know why. I, I Well, I like the color. So as you can see, that there's a color palette of brown <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, but that's the that's only color, nice. few colors that they have at the moment. Maybe I don't know how to feel about this because it's neither nor. Like it's neither a really tote tote, but it's not, not really a drawstring drawstring either. It's really kind of in between. Or maybe it's just trying to be both. And I'm not sure how I feel. I think it can still look really cool on. Like once it's on your shoulder and you have some stuff in it, I think it can look really cool, yes. Um, do I think it will replace how the Chanel 22 behaves? Not at all. I think the 22 is much more secure than what people think, actually. Uh, this doesn't look as secure to me, even though it does have the drawstring. Um, but I can see how like how this bag can be really cool. And especially if you're more into like, you know, you don't want the same bag as everyone else has, right? Let's say everyone else has a 22 and you want something totally different, then yes, mm -hmm. this is can be more like, oh, I'm different and I like that. I like that I don't have a bag that everyone else owns, then yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it does definitely has because of the drawstring, right? And this longer shoulder strap, so when you really singe it in, I can sort of visualize that it would look uh, like a bucket style. Mm, okay. Yeah. But the only thing is I wonder, because, you know, with a full leather bag like that, would it be heavy? Yeah, that's Probably. Yeah. I think any large bag is heavy to be, not maybe not when it's empty, but the, you add a few things, even though they're not many things, it will become heavy. I think it's a given for most large bags. I think the only large bags that are not heavy are Longchamp bags. <laughs> because they're so light, they they literally I should have put some down. Longchamp bags here. I totally forgot. Yes. Yeah. That would be like the big bag. Yeah, that yeah. would be like the perfect big bag. So this is the Kabas. If you're interested, Celine has you covered for the big bags. And I decided to pick one where I have been seeing this bag all over the internet. Because, you know, we want to have a big bag, but maybe we don't want to spend an arm and a leg and a kidney on it. So, Mark Jacobs has the tote bag. And this is a large <laughs> size for $985. If I'm not mistaken, it is leather. comes with an interior pocket. And people are all over this bag. I think it's okay. I, I'm, I, I think with... My only gripe about this bag is that I wish <laughs> it didn't say the tote bag. If it just said Marc Jacobs, I'll be cool. Um, really good size for a bigger bag in trend. Useful. Uh, yeah, the only thing is the word the tote bag. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I actually quite like it. If you turn it around, which I should have put a picture, the other side doesn't have the words. So, yeah. If you're considering a big bag, you can consider the one from Marc Jacobs. Really, really popular now. They do have multiple sizes and different, different materials. You don't have to get this brown one, leather. They have canvas. They have, I think, 
even something like a bit furry. So, what do you think of this bag? So, um, I think I'm warming up to it because I keep seeing it as well on social media. I have no interest in this bag really, but I can see why um, it's popular. It, because it, it does look very practical. It has a zipper closure, right? And even the side, it has this handle thing. I'm not sure when you would use that. You could pull it maybe. Um, I think this bag probably is practical. I think that's what it is. And maybe Marc Jacobs decided to put the big logo, like the tote bag. Maybe that is the differentiating between this bag and just a contempt, like a more even lower end contemporary. Um, mm. Like just because those ones could be really plain. And then I'm not sure if within the contemporary brand competition, whether they also want to differentiate themselves between them. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, not sure exactly, but I, I would think so. So that could be the appeal as well. Like when people see the tote bag, oh, they know it's a Marc Jacobs bag. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that works. That kind of yeah, works. I think it's possible, right? And at the yeah. end of the day, um, you know, there's a market for any levels of luxury and contemporary is also sort of luxury too. It's They're still expensive. And so um, I think for a, uh, this is a decently priced bag, like it's still kind of almost a thousand. So I feel like for that kind of price range, it looks very, very practical. Yeah. How heavy is that? I'm wondering, because usually contemporary bags, they use much heftier leathers they can be really heavy right off the bat so i wonder how heavy this is yeah i've watched a few reviews um not reviews i i haven't watched it but i saw a few people review this bag and i i think they enjoy it and some of them have multiples mm. of this so maybe it's not one of those really heavy leather bags because okay i think it yeah in our community, we tend to complain about bags are a little bit too heavy. I know. So, so to see a few other YouTubers have a couple of these bags, I think it's functional. Functional, therefore also lighter. Mm. I don't know. If I get a chance to see this bag in store one day, I'll pick it up and I'll let yeah, you know. Yeah, pick it up and see. If any of you have, try this. Let us know. Is it light? Is this kind of feeling that's kind of light? I don't know. Just though... So it's really? that I, I always think that contemporary brands have used very thick, like very thick and, and kind of hard leathers. And it's not necessarily bad, but for me, they are heavy. <laughs> for me, it feels heavy. And and I, you know, you guys know how sensitive I am with how, how heavy things are. And that's why I was very, very, very surprised that the 22 doesn't feel heavy. The chain mm. is heavy, yes, but overall when it's on your shoulder and everything it doesn't feel heavy which is kind of the strangest thing ever right. uh, but who knows maybe that's why maybe that's why my bag didn't feel heavy because the leather is thinner <laughs> so that's mm, not a good thing if it's, kind of, it's like pro and con right when it's i too know it's no good too thick is no good this yeah <laughs> yeah just right okay like goldilocks it's gotta be just right okay live q a now let's pull some questions we hope you enjoyed that you know uh i'm i'm in the medium back trend not mm. really the big back trend just because my lifestyle has changed but i can appreciate some of those really big bags they, they just look so cool they make your outfit just stand out or basically they are your outfit <laughs> they're so big yeah. yeah so let us know have a bunch of question marks and i will Go back to the main screen. So of all the bags that we've shown today, which one would you get if you were, you know, if you someone said, oh, go buy a big bag. I allow oh. you to buy it. <laughs> Just use my okay, money. <laughs> all right. Let me scroll back up. Okay. I kind of forgot already. What do we show? I think. Mm. Okay. Which would you go for? <laughs> I was just wondering the same thing. Um... Let's do top three because we did okay, quite a few Okay, top bags. three is easier. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, I think I think the first one I would go for is probably the Doville, even though, oh my gosh, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I, I'll have to try the small size at least. Give it a chance. 
And then I really like the YSL. I know it's obnoxious, super obnoxious. I just like how obnoxious it is. I like that it's close to the body as well. And number three, I think, uh, I hate it and I love it, okay? I love and hate it. It's the 22. I, I honestly just love it, but I just hate that things are happening to it. Like mm. people are reporting things happening to it. That's what I hate, but I actually love this bag. So yeah, those are my top three. Okay. So for me, I would go for the Lindy because mm, yeah. I love the Lindy. If it's a big bag and, you know, something that I could use for work and put lots of things inside, but for work, not for a laptop and all, I think would be the Lindy. Then I would go for, I don't know, I kind of like this. It's so odd. Mm. The drawstring, this. And I would go for the Chanel 22, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm warming up to it, but it's definitely at the bottom of the rank because of the price. Yeah. It just, mm. you know what it I'm actually, noticing? I might even go, I might even go for the shopping bag. Like mm. these two, they have quite a similar look and feel to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the squishiness of this. So it could be either or. Though this is more expensive, huh? <laughs> yeah, because that's the 19 line, right? You know right. how the 19 bag is pretty expensive? Oh my gosh. I didn't, oh, I, yeah. I didn't see that. It's like $300 more plus tax is seven. Wow. Ouch. Yeah, it's over seven. So yeah. I noticed one thing. So yours, the ones that you picked, they, they're more, um, I don't want to say plain, but they look more classic. Like, you yeah. know. The, even the Celine one is, is sort of like, you know, if you don't know the logo, it's it's just plain tan color, leather, plain leather. Lindy is plain leather. Yes, yeah. it has a design, but it's still plain. Whereas the ones, all the ones I went for has a big logo in the middle. <laughs> Huge logo. Huge <laughs> logo, like boom, boom. <laughs> if you can see my style. I have sort of like a, you know, even though I'm I'm doing it subconsciously, but something is happening in my head. <laughs> Again, yeah, I think so. Fun. I think so, yeah. All right. We hope you enjoyed that. All right, I'm going to pull some questions. Let's see. Oh, here we go. From the bottom. Charmaine. Although discontinued, I've always found the Hermes toolbox super functional as a bigger bag. What do you think of it? Yeah. Yes, I do have a toolbox. You have the toolbox. I have the toolbox 26 humongous. <laughs> That's why I said, well, not humongous. Not like YSL humongous. It's like a medium big bag size. Bigger, bulkier. I need it. It's good because when I need a bigger bag to just stuff things inside, I don't want to think so much about, you know, would my water bottle fit? Would my, you know, extra wallet, larger wallet, my uh, keys, my cards, my passport, all that. Dump it in the toolbox. <laughs> So there is a time really and a place like, for a bigger bag. The more the more you show and talk about your toolbox, the more I've been really liking it. And now that I'm into Hermes, I actually am thinking, I'm like, oh, is a toolbox, even though this continue, right? So got to find it pre-love. Is a toolbox maybe in the long-term horizon? I would yeah, probably like, like a smaller size. I'll grab it. How big is a smaller, how big is the smaller size one? It's cute. How, like how less centimeter how many is it 20 yeah 20 do you guys know because i i have no idea but i just it can't 20. imagine it it's a 20 20, 20 right 20, 20 would be so really cute. cute oh my gosh it would be so cute and 20 will fit a lot it's big yeah this size is a bit big for me but i think 20 would be so cute oh you it. have a 20 charmaine oh my gosh i think yeah. i would love I'm going to have to start looking at some pictures on Instagram. It's of the super cute. Pictures. You can even check out uh, my favorites with Maggie. She has uh -huh. the orange 20. Okay. Yeah. Don't, I, I would not recommend a 26 to anyone unless you are needing a bigger bag and you don't mind it being bulky. So, you know, it is a bulkier bag. You can see the width, but it's just. I don't know. It's just so, it's, I don't know, something about it. <laughs> Joe is so funny. 
She had the toolbox 20, and then she feels that it's like a milk carton. Yeah, but you would need to like the look. It, it still feels like a milk carton, so you will need to like the look. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I got kind mine milk carton loved, though. and I just, you know, just I, I mistreat this bag, but I use it. <laughs> and um the only thing is I feel like my lock is a little loose. So sometimes when I, I'm walking about too fast, it does open by itself like this. Sometimes it opens by itself like that. Even but when you close it? Yeah, I think my lock is a little, a little loose. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Yeah. But I wonder if it happens only to the 26. Because... But anyway, yeah, that's my bag. I do have a bag organizer somewhere. My room's a mess. <laughs> I can't uh, tell if these people have the 20, but it must be. Some some of them still look kind of big. I wonder oh, if it's because of I mean, your, your lock is loose as well. Yeah, it does, but it doesn't really bother me because most of the time, I'm just like this. Pros and cons for being loose because I can straight away just open it quickly and look at everything on the inside and just easily snap it close just like this oh, i like how cool this is she just laid it flat and it almost looks like a celine bag like you know how the wings are coming out oh yeah 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 you can do that that is kind of cool but if you, you but yeah actually do that for long because the oh uh, okay yeah 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 but you can if it is handheld. Cool. Yeah, yeah I love it's it. all good. You know, it's, it's, all not good. Like, it's not like I need it. But I... <laughs> you always think about it. You're like, oh, discontinued, huh? <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, mini bag question. Sure, of course, we are at the Q and A session. Can I ask, Viv P, can I ask a mini bag question? What do you think of the Chanel 22 clutch with chain? Wow, you have the reference number. <laughs> I have no idea which one that is. Chanel 22. Right. That's the reference number. AP2945 BO B08842 I'm trying to imagine because it's a Chanel 22 but it's clutch with chain so so when you type in the 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 number does it tell you no on the Chanel site no does it no AP 2945 AP 2945 I'm trying to see because I have no idea which one that is 042 I'm okay, typing it out I'm just gonna search by the 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 style number now. Go AP Chanel. Oh yeah, it does appear. I don't know if it's the right one, but uh, hang on, let me show you. Oh, this one is the Chanel Twenty Two. I didn't know that. So it's the one with the metal. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that it was called the Chanel Twenty Two Clutch on Chain. Let me share my screen. I like that it has a handle. Um, I mean, it's it's, it's another it's a more micro version of a. It's like the SLG, right? But maybe this one has more structure. Actually, I wonder if that also like that Here usually does limit. This is the one. Yeah. So the because of the how it curves in, I wonder if that you know even though it looks big and wider, I wonder if it still doesn't have as much space anyway. Not that you would buy this for space, of course, but I do like that it has that chain detail on top. Uh, underneath, you can even see the flap as well. And when you open the flap, uh, I like the chain detail. And mm -hmm. overall, it's quite nice. Yeah, overall, I like it. I think when I was doing the collection review, I kind of just went through it really fast in terms of the nano bags because I considered this to be a nano bag because it pretty much is another like another version, right? Like there's just so many nowadays that I just went. I just said, if you like it, you just 
you just like it you get it right if you like it at this point mm -hmm. what do you think do you think it's like super different mm, kind of like a mini trendy mini trendy cc but more amped up more glam is it even though because you know how this one it has the structure right around the trendy is a different structure and also Cute. i don't want to say this looks like a cocoa handle either because it's not but like it just has that different um <laughs> i don't know how to describe it it's pretty yeah i mean it's it, it is pretty yeah 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 it's cute it's cute i think at the end of the day with these kinds of size bags you just buy it because you like it mm. uh, just don't go oh, too overboard like i did because you can go overboard very easily because you know you always think oh it's a chanel bag it's only three thousand four thousand whatever like a smaller price range compared to everything else then you can end up buying several and and just end up with too many so mm. i just say oh this one is five thousand so yeah i would say just it, like, think about it and then if you really really like it you know it's okay to get it obviously um but yeah don't get too many of these very small size bags because at the end of the day you're just gonna grab one or two the most of the time that's what i've okay. noticed i always just grab the one <laughs> nice though like it's it's nice it's, yeah i love the vintage gold hardware yeah okay let me stop sharing cute approved yes joe approved <laughs> it's so hot today i can't like i don't know if you guys are noticing i have the fan on and everything my hair is up <laughs> And I'm probably glowing from the sweat because I'll put on the it's unusually hot for Vancouver in almost mid end of August. It's like I can really see most people are liking it. Yeah, it's hot even here. It's like what did we say last week? We said it's um climate change. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, obviously it is, but it's just. Usually in August, it starts to get cold, but it's still so hot in August, which is very unusual. Like this whole week is going to be hot, apparently. All right. I am at the bottom. Right, I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Sure. I see questions no questions i'm just scrolling down if i don't see question marks then i'm skipping it oh here we go one from kareen now i'm interested in the garden party but probably in a smaller version can it be carried comfortably on the shoulder ah unfortunately no i think uh i don't probably uh, not yeah the handle for the 30 is it's really like the Birkin 25. It is handheld only. The 36, for me, I could squeeze it into my eye. I could squeeze it right here. But if you, you know, if you have a jacket or you need a bit more space, it is a tight fit for the 36. I think that is the reason why the garden party for me, even though certain combinations can look very pretty, very cool even um the issue is that it's 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 just a top handle bag right it's just a crook of the arm bag which has nothing wrong with it but i think because technically you know typically with the garden party you would go for a larger size and that already you know with you putting more things in it it will kind of get on the heavier side uh, you could argue that, oh, but the Birkin 25 is also just top handle. Yeah, but actually the Birkin 25 is still smaller, right? It's it's a better size small bag, but it's it's still not very big. So like I feel like that's different from a point of view of like um you know that I will put up with for some mm -hmm. reason anything bigger than that, like anything bigger than 25 that is just top handle and you can't do any shoulder carry or whatnot, that becomes a challenge for me personally. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, this is not a, I think this is just a comment that I wanted to pull out from Tracy. Hi girls, I've been wearing my on-the-go MM for a week now after having kept her asleep for a few months. But oh wow, my arms been hurting badly. I didn't realize how heavy it was. Oh, good information. So we were right, huh? It's got a bit of weight to it. Like you tried it. You said it was heavy. Yeah, I think that is the issue with any larger size bag. Any any size 30 and above. And if they are meant to be, you know, meant to be worn as a larger size bag, because that's the intent, then it will automatically get heavier. And depending on, you know, what issues you have, for me, it's it can be anything. It could be the shoulder, it could be the wrist, mm. it could be anything. And yeah, it will get very heavy very quickly. Um, so yeah, I think that's definitely one issue that large bags have. Not necessarily that the bag itself is heavy to begin with, but it's just because you put things in. <laughs> yeah. And because you can put more things in, right? That's the issue. And you will, right? Because like, yeah. you think, oh, I got more space. Let's put another jacket, put another um, sweater. And then suddenly it starts to add up. And you're like, uh, this is heavy. Okay, I found another one from Chris. Chris Tan. I just wonder whether all drawstring bags show wear and tear on the loops. You know, I wonder because I never, I never thought of checking underneath the loop. I don't have any drawstring. Bags. Yeah, actually, I never thought of checking that either. I think the issue is that maybe uh, so the difference between the twenty two and other drawstring bags is that the twenty two is a soft leather one. Not all drawstring bags have a soft leather, right, underneath. Uh, and also, like, people are not just reporting underneath where the chain comes out. Some people are also reporting issues on that body, on the mm. body having cracking or whatever. So um, that is definitely concerning. Um, I think where the, the straps come out, that's just the first place it appears because... You guys know how I'm careful with my items, right? Like literally everything I own, I can say it's like 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition. Like that's just how good my things are. And yet after five wears, I see that kind of uh, uh, premature wear and tear. That is very strange to me. Like this is such a strange thing that I see that happening to my own bag. So uh, it is definitely concerning and it only just started i only just started there it can be anywhere else which um obviously i haven't had any issue anywhere else which is great but other people have reported it and that's just just a concerning uh issue right mm -hmm. um and people are not having issues which is great but, like you're just wondering like, why some people and not others like you're just wondering oh is the material source from everywhere uh, for every bag the same way or not like you just start wondering about these things too so yeah it's mm. definitely concerning i don't yeah, and, know and... if sorry go ahead no, sorry. oh no i was just wondering whether the drawstring for other bags is actually a leather pull so mm. the celine one <clears throat> the drawstring is not chain it is leather so leather against leather the friction is not so severe. Maybe with the Chanel one, because it's actually metal loop mm -hmm. and it's rubbing and you're pulling it like this, right? I mean, mm, yeah. Logically, it should have somewhere. That, that's how I kind of think of it. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Maybe there should at least be some sort of reinforcement material under underneath where the string um like the drawstring part whether it's a, a whether it's a leather piece or the interwoven leather mm. and metal from chanel it should have some sort of reinforcement around it which yeah. if you look at any of the other drawstring bags that chanel has they all have rivets right they have rivets where the drawstring goes which oh that's that prevents, right yeah, that prevents any issues but the 22 uh, is not like that, and which is fine. Like, I, I still really like the design, but maybe 
where it comes out around it, like around that strip of leather that goes like that, there should be some reinforcement somehow. But, you know, I'm not the one That's making the bag, so. <laughs> Maybe you should have like, it should come out from a hole that has just the reinforcement. Yeah. Yeah. Some sort of material, right? Any, any, anything, not just that thinner piece of leather, right? And especially yeah. if it's a thinner piece that you, like if, if, I feel like if you have a thinner hide, then you're, you're uh, at higher chances of encountering issues down the line, right? Mm. I feel like that was probably the case for mine. Um, obviously, I don't know for sure because I didn't touch another bag where it was a lot thicker, but I was just, you know, I just saw that on purse from and I was like, looking at the pictures and I'm like, wow, this person's bag looks so hardy, like really hardy. And I don't remember mine being that way, you know? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Let me pull this one from Sobe. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It could be so Sobe. Uh, since we are talking about big bags, what's your opinion on the Fendi Peekaboo large in Solaria, and do you know the next part is do you know how heavy the bag is? Know how heavy is the bag? Okay, I have tried the Solaria version both in the mini, so the small, and then one size larger, which I think it's the medium. And because they use a uh, thicker leather for the Solaria bag, it was already weightier how heavy i don't know but when i pick it up compared to the regular peekaboo i would say easily 30 40 percent heavier yeah so it's it's got weight um i yeah, like the I mean, look i like the mm. look i like the contrast stitching the larger stitching and it's all handmade and all that i i think it's very nice um it gives that you know artisan touch to the bag, but I don't know. I think um, the leather definitely caught me off guard when it was uh, much heavier. I mean, I could have gotten the regular peekaboo lambskin just as big, did not weigh as much, but this one it's got a bit of weight to it, quite a bit of weight. What mm -hmm. do you think? I feel like a lot of Fendi bags are actually on the heavier side. There's maybe only a couple that's light. So the Montresor little bucket bag, that one's really light if you get the mini size. And I think, yeah, aside from the classic peekaboo and lambskin, everything else that I've tried has always been on the heavier side. And when you couple that with a Solaria leather, which is, I think it's a very thick cowhide. It's either cowhide or, I don't know, maybe it's a bull leather. It's very, it feels very, very hardy. Then yeah, I think it just automatically adds to the weight. And so, I mean, weight aside, I feel like a lot of bags depends on how you carry it as well. Mm. If you're always going to do kind of handheld, it may not feel as heavy. When you do the crook of the arm, your crook of the arm actually gets tired very fast. Yeah, here, the part of your neck. Yeah, you and also like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, your I shoulder. Like weight down. And also, but if you're using mostly like your arm muscle and you're holding it like that, um, it can be better. But then it just depends on you, right? Do you always want to carry it like that? That's also something you have to think about. Yeah. I find that when I carry things on my elbow here, I tend to do this. So when I carry, I tend to lift up. Mm, so yeah. I tend to like, you want to lift up, right? So your, your shoulder goes yeah. up. So you're creating quite a lot of strain at your shoulders. Yeah, you just no. feel like you're, you're constantly doing this. Yeah. Right? But you know, it's very slight, right? So, but you feel yeah. it, you feel it, you feel it. But when you carry on your hand, you literally just shoulder down. Yes. And you just let the weight of the bag go down. So you feel like you're stretching your shoulder. So you, that's why you don't feel tightness. And you just let the weight of the bag just drag you down. So anything that's put on the shoulder, on elbow, you nat we naturally, or for me, I naturally do a little bit of a, you know, contract, I, I contract up a bit. And that's where I get tension in the shoulders and I get tension in my arms and back. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, totally. I think people just don't realize it. I think I remember one of my high school friends. She used to tell me something. What, why did she say that? I can't remember. I think it was my hair. It was just my hair. It's like that silly. I think because I had, I had like, you know, like my hair is like this, right? I had hair that is like the same length in the front too. And maybe because of the way I part it, yes, like I part it this way. Mm. So I tend to always go like this, right? And then she always, and she told me back then in high school, she's like, oh, your head is always like this. Ah! <laughs> like not always, like not this bad, but like she's telling me something like that, I think along the lines of, oh, your head is always tilted. I think that's why, because that I'm always like, trying to, I'm Maybe. always trying to hide my face, first of all. And then, and then I have to see it. I like, go like this. <laughs> and like, oh my God. <laughs> well maybe there is some truth to it so i you know you tell yeah, me so like, when you carry a bag too like you just like <laughs> i think it's totally you lift it up, you're like this. People do. <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh that's hilarious okay let's do this one from jen it's not really a question or a comment but uh yeah just that i wanted to pull this out jen i would get the deville ysl her bag oh. if they were free they were free <laughs> totally different issue with my own money oh jen i would i would totally get those as well like i would try the her bag if it was free <laughs> i'll put up with the closure because i just want to try it it looks cool <laughs> all right wow not a question but i wanted to share my happiness with you last week i got my only birkin 30 <gasps> Gold on gold Epsom, which I plan to use daily on work and out, and yeah. it fits so much. Huge congratulations. Yes. yes. Wow. Amazing combo. Gold on gold. Wow. Oh, Epsom. Is it Cellier? Oh. Did you get no, it in not Cellier? All Epsom are Cellier? All Epsom are Cellier? Not all. Not oh, all. not all. Yeah, yeah they all. also make Epsom in the Hatone as well. So it's a little bit more... It does feel more... It does stay more structured, I, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Really a nice colors. Oh, FYI. Shaiza. FYI, there are two new small... Deville sizes. One costs 3,700 USD. One is a tiny bit bigger for 3,008. I just mm. got the smaller one in blue, the one in your slide. Ah, nice. What? Yes, yeah, so like $100. I heard, um, I heard that bigger? the tiny one bit bigger is the new, newer version, something like that. Oh. Yeah. God. Like, but either $100 way, yeah. be a bit more material. Yeah, either way, they the, at least there is a smaller size now, right? So that is... Actually, it may be better to get the, the smaller of the smaller size, actually, because it's already quite a big bag. And honestly, even when I use a big bag, I mostly carry the same things. I just add a few more things. Like I add a bottle of water. I might add a jacket or a mm. scarf. And, and honestly, anything that I shop and I can add in it. Like I really don't fill up my bag. I don't really purposely do it. I still put the same things that I would normally put in my mini bags, but it's just that I know I can carry my water bottle that day, like that type of situation. So probably mm -hmm. even if I were to get a Deauville, I would try to get the smallest one possible as well. If they still have it at that time. Makes sense. Okay, Nat. The toolbox design reminds me of a distant cousin of the Fendi Peekaboo. Yeah, like many, many okay. yeah. marriages. <laughs> um, love your toolbox, cat. Recently bought my Epi Noe to use for work and love how I don't need to baby it. Yes. Yes. No more babying bags. I'm done with babying bags, okay? I have this like, I have a moment right now and Amy knows I'm like, I'm done with it. I'm so sick of babying my bags because it's so stressful. Like, this bag is stressful. Like, I'm looking at it. You're, you're stressful, okay? It, I think it's stressful when you, you can't enjoy using the bag anymore. Yeah. 
uh, I have joy in babying my bag in a sense, but not not baby to a point where I can't enjoy it. I think uh, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> but I think I usually just baby it mostly uh, when it's a lighter color. So for for example, my classic flat, which is in the light gray color,、mm. I have to be a bit more careful. I know yeah, that you have to be. Yeah, it's like, yeah. So even if I'm I... wearing just white color, I still have to be careful not to put it on a dirty table or slide it or、um, you know, like I I am more mindful for sure. So for me, that type of babying is just、um, me knowing that I'm treating my bag well. So I I'm okay with that. I don't find that not enjoyable. I think. It becomes un unenjoyable if you do that and it still gets wear and tear. Then, then yeah, then, yeah. Then, then, then I'm just really paranoid and not want to wear it. Then I'm just scared of the bag at that point. Then I wouldn't be able to enjoy it.、Um, and has that happened? It has happened to it has happened to my Burberry bag a long time ago, and also I think that is it. Maybe.、Mm. Maybe can't remember now. Burberry LV bags? Any LV bags? Usually LV bags are the ones that you don't baby that much, or you do baby. I don't baby my LV bags. Like I don't buy too many bags that are very hard to maintain, so、mm. I don't get myself into that situation too much. Um, so I'm I'm usually okay with it. Yeah. Oh no, I skipped. Ah,、oh, wait. There was a comment from no. There was a oh net. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Joanne. I'm debating. Please help. I currently have the LV Neverfull GM in Dame Abin, but I'm thinking of letting it go. And to get the Foray Lapage Daily Battle thirty two or thirty seven, couldn't decide. Need to carry laptop and essentials. Ooh. Hmm, Joanne. I I find that challenging because the battle, um, the Daily Battle tote is similar design, you know, kind of similar shape as the Neverfull. And I find because of the lack of structure and you know how it doesn't have the padding for your laptop and all that stuff, it will make not only your bag sag a lot, but also it will make it very uncomfortable to wear as a tote.、Um, so yeah, I've always found that for my never full, even though initially I thought that can be one of the reasons why I I, I justify buying it because not only is it a big tote. It's a large bag. It fits a lot. It's a classic, but you know, sometimes I said I told myself at one point, oh, and I can also use it for work sometimes, but it really isn't that practical.、Um, mm. Putting a laptop in any sort of very unstructured bags, even even on the MM on the go or GM on the go already, is kind of just stretching it. But at least that one's a little bit more structured. On the Neverfull, it's just. Not really, and I'm not sure the daily battle is any better. Maybe the strap is better because it's adjustable, but、mm. I don't know. Cat, you can comment on that. Maybe I,、uh, you know, I do use my daily battle tote for my laptop、uh, when I do use it, but I do find that it doesn't offer protection for the laptop. Like these, these, you know, luxury bags are not designed. To protect your laptop, you know, from bangs, you know, putting it on the floor, damn, bing, bang, bing, at the side corners, they are very sensitive to that. So usually, what I would do is have a sleeve with my laptop, and then put that together into the never, oh, sorry, into my Foray Lapage, and it works. You know,、um, it does flop around a little bit because you know the base is like this big, the laptop's like this big. You know, it will flop around. But if you're okay to carry the laptop in the this kind of luxury tote, it is heavy.、Mm, it's not heavy. The bag's not heavy. It's just everything that you carry in the tote will be heavy. So you said laptop. Then what are your essentials? It could be a lot, and you just feel like it's a lot on the shoulders. Um, 
I don't have a Neverfull, so I can't comment if the Neverfull straps are comfortable. The straps on the Ferrari Lepage are comfortable. So I wouldn't, I don't know, if, unless, you're, unless you have a lot of essentials, I wouldn't go bigger than a 32 if your laptop is, I think my laptop is a 14. I think my laptop's a 14. Yeah, I wouldn't go bigger than the 32, but 14 fits even with the sleeve. It's good enough. And that kind of controls what you put inside the bag as well because 37 is a lot bigger than you'd be like lugging this giant heavy bag on your shoulder with wires and all that stuff. So, yeah. Hard to say whether you should let it go. <laughs> They're kind of similar, really. They're kind of similar. Like if, you go, if you're going to go with the 37 and you already have the Elver, Neverfull GM, then it's just down to preference. Maybe you like the Ferrari Lepage, you're kind of tired of the LV. Then maybe, but if it's just because you think it's a bigger bag, it'll be better. I think they're kind of similar, like what Amy said. If you want to downsize, then I, I do like the 32. Yeah, it's a tough one, especially yeah. when you can't even try well, I, I don't know where you live, but I don't have Pohe de Pages here. Um, so. Okay, let me see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so we have some comments like this. It wouldn't hurt Chanel to put some grommets on the 22. Mm. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they remake it and they put the grommets. Mm -hmm. If the if more and more issues, more and more returns come back. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Joe. I should I should put Goya inside. Yes, Goya is a big bag. Uh, big bag. The Toi Saint Louis, like carefree and looks good. Agreed. Oh, thank you, Sobe. I got it right. Very Japanese, Sobe. It's going down. Oops. Amy. Oh, okay, so send something for you, Amy. Sandra, you will love the lightweight of the new small Ooh. Deville. I bought the biggest small and it feel and it's as light as the never full. Oh wow. Oh. Oh <laughs> no, I might have to keep my eyes open for the Deville. Oh, the Deauville is a cool tote. It is a really cool tote. <sighs> okay. You gonna check it out? I, I mean, <laughs> can you even check it out? It, like always sold out, right? I know. I think it's one of those things nowadays. If you like something, you have to let, at least let your essay know well in advance. Hopefully they can let you know once it comes in and you know, that's your chance of buying one, but Aside from that, I think it's pretty hard to just spot one in store, depending on the store that you have in your hometown, of course. Um, I think because here, yeah, we only have the one store and popular items don't even make it out to the floor. <laughs> mm, so, yeah. They don't. They don't. No, they, they just they're don't. literally snapped up the moment they're there, I think. Yeah. If they're not already snapped up. Yeah. Oh, here's one from Charmaine. I know both of you prefer pristine bags. Would you buy a pre-loved as a safe usage bag? I bought a slightly beat up B30 that I feel safe, very safe using for work and in more messy situations. Mm. Yeah, so for me... That's a great question. Yeah, my, my toolbox is a pretty beat up bag. When I bought this, this is pre-loved. It had a huge, like, oh, it's still there. Okay, it has a huge scratch, right? Uh, you can't even tell uh, okay all right anyway there's one line here obviously over time it's sort of you know meshed into the swift leather but yeah this is my safe usage bag i use this for work it's beat up it's beat up but not beat up i don't know how to explain it it's uh like there is somewhere on the corners here but I, this can be easily fixed if I wanted to. Bring it back to the artisan. They'll just 
you know, smoothen it out, give a bit of paint on it. It's pretty much as good as new. No issues with the glazing. But this is my beat up bag. This is the one that I feel really safe to carry everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. everywhere. So I find this question kind of um, uh, just coincidentally what I was thinking about recently because um, obviously I like with Almez especially, right? I'm after certain bags in, in the store and I'm, I'm still going after the store experience. Therefore, you know, pre-spend journey, whatever. Um, but I was thinking also, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe at one point in my collection, not now, but at one point I will probably want to experience maybe the larger sizes, but not necessarily get it in the store where I have to, you know, do the pre-spend, wait for it, get it offered. I might just want to get it pre-love as I thought about it because not only are the pre-love prices of the larger bags so much better, mm. um, but you can still get really good condition ones. And um, if they're a lot older, like the vintage, maybe like at least 10 years old, 10 or more years old, but still in very, very good condition, they actually are kind of a bargain in a sense. Mm. given the current retail prices right so as long as i'm okay with knowing that it's my more beat up bag but at least it completes my collection in that way because i would have gotten all the ones for me holy grail ones from the store and those ones i definitely want pristine but like for the larger size maybe i don't care for that experience mm. i don't care that it's brand new in fact i want it to be a more worn in so i'm definitely open to the idea whether I would start doing that now, no, not probably not, but like in a few years' time, probably once that I can evaluate my collection from that time and see how it is and see if I have a need for the larger size. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, like I don't think Birkin 30 would be in my collection, but if I ever get a Birkin 30, right, definitely I would get it pre love, uh, kind of like in that scenario or even a kelly 28 maybe a retourné style maybe retourné mm. style yeah that's what i like in kelly's retourné i might just look in the pre-loved mm. uh, i think that just makes a lot of sense because that bag tends to have that slouch anyway over time so does it really matter that i get a brand new pristine from store maybe not like i don't know but i was thinking out loud at one point very recently actually yeah, I think that's a good way to go about bags that are uh, that have better pricing in the pre-love mm -hmm. market because you know, like your store is just tough, right? And no. you want to get that kind of you know better price bags in the pre-love market, but get it in store just because you want to get it in store. I th think that doesn't make does is not doesn't make financial sense, lah, Right? From a is no. Yeah, and then at one point you might not need to or you might not have anything else you want to purchase from the store not that i will never still step back in and buy that occasional pair of shoes but you know like at one point i would imagine after a few bags a few quarter bags you would have bought everything you would possibly need like you know if they have a new scarf i'll go in and buy it if they have a new pair of shoes i'll go in and buy it but like I can't buy the same jewelry pieces that I already own. Like, that's just silly. I can't buy another watch that I already own because I don't even wear watches. <laughs> like, that type of thing. And then ready to wear. I mean, they start being repetitive after a while, too. <laughs> so, you know, that is the issue with classic pieces. Pieces that are plain, um, timeless. After a while, they look the same. They look mm -hmm. exactly the same, just from a different season. So mm -hmm. I would imagine for later on, when I feel like I want to complete my collection further with the larger sizes or with the more slouchy sizes, um, then yeah, I might just I just find pre-love, vintage, whatever. Yeah. We'll see. We'll revisit this in like a few years, maybe like three years. <laughs> okay. Let's pull this one from Joanne. So this is back to the question on the GM LV. So she's saying, I normally carry keys, car key, two phones, and many a mini pochette. Or what other bag would you suggest? I'm tired of the LV because it is too mm. big. Yeah. 
Um, you don't carry much. So, you know, when you do need a little bit more space and, you know, like a laptop, you're going to put a book. I do think the Ferrari Lepage in the 32 is a good bag. Like, that's how I, I mean, that's basically what, what you carry is basically what I carry. I've got my two work phone. I've got my work phone, my home phone. I've got my house keys, my car keys. I've got a little bit here and there, maybe my rechargeable battery, a couple of wires. So in a big bag, it's it's just floating in the big bag. But if I needed a laptop, I'm going to put a bigger thing, then the 32 is good enough. I think what Joe suggested in Goya um, is also good because you don't need to get the bigger version. So Goya actually has a smaller version, but may not fit the laptop. I think the, the Etoile, I think it's the Etoile. Yeah, Goya has a few as well. So I think a tote would still be a good option for you if you wanted that flexibility for larger items. But you don't have to get something so big like the 37. It's it's really like large. What do you think? What are the bags? Mm-hmm. The Chanel DeVille, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that. I feel like for you, like if I had the stuff, stuff that you were saying. Chanel DeVille. But if you're not into Chanel, because that's very logo forward. Uh, the 22 also will fit all of those things. Um... Do you like the Lindy? I think the Lindy would be a good one for this, for the things that you mentioned. Well, but she did say she needed a laptop, though. Oh, that's a laptop. Thing. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, a uh, laptop is essential. So that's okay, why I was still sure that the Um Tote. Garden party. But she was initially thinking of Pigaboo Celeria, right? Yeah. Celine? Yeah, maybe Celine. Those yeah, because it's a little bit more work appropriate if you're going to use your laptop. It's a little mm. less loud. Just plain leather, just nice leather, nice color. Mm. Or YSL has those totes. Yeah. Yeah, those like uh, the most baseline totes. Um, uh, the, no, the, not baseline, but like the, you know, the one that is. Every luxury house has a tote. And YSL's ones is just plain leather. And it has just a bit of gold foil embossing at the top. Oh, what is that called? But if you search YSL tote, that's the one that appears. That one's not bad as well. All right, I think this is a question from Corrine. By the oh, way, I think Corrine, you got, you got like uh, COVID. I think I was reading some of the comments. So get well soon. I am finally feeling like myself last week. Like, yes. <laughs> All right. Or- Corrine, off topic regarding Chanel denim flap. For dark denim piece... Does it transfer color onto clothes? If it's a light denim, does it pick color from darker clothes? Ah. Mm. I, I think from the other, the other one, definitely, right? Yeah, light the first denim. One, right? No, if it's light denim, definitely it'll pick color from darker clothes. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, that's usually like how our bags get rubbed. I think I feel I feel like that those are situations, uh, you know, as with any fabric bags, I, I have a bit more like I baby it more in a sense. I am I'm way more conscious because I am not only uh, aware of what I have to wear for that bag, but also where I put it and also what can land on it. Like if I'm eating next, to it, <laughs> I don't want things to land on it. So I think there is this uh, extra care that I take. Um, because I take that extra care, I don't particularly, um, I'm not going to be particularly concerned about those issues just because I would have avoided it in the first place. Mm -hmm. So if I had a darker denim piece, then I would just not wear the the super white t-shirt. 
But at the same time, if I had a lighter denim, then I will just keep whatever I wear on the lighter side as well. So I feel like I kind of avoid that situation to begin with. I think it's kind of inevitable as inevitable as well, because um, again, depending on the climate and even yourself, sometimes in a summer day, for example, when it's hot and you're hot and the bag is probably hot because you're hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some transfer might happen just because I think it just makes sense. Uh, so if you kind of avoid the material from having that transfer, like if you just avoid that situation by wearing the proper colors, mm -hmm. then yeah, then you don't have to think about that as much. Yeah. Uh, it's hard, lad. like I think... When you buy a, a denim or a fabric bag, there is a level of commitment that you, you need to accept when you're going to carry the item. Um, totally. I totally agree. Yeah. You just have to have to lock on the brain and say, okay, for this bag, I'm going to be careful. Any bag with just a bit more, right? So maybe it could be a sequins. It could be an extra gem at the side. It could be a charm hanging there. You just got to be like, okay, this bag needs one extra care consideration. Um, just wondering if any of you have like cloth bags, material bags, have any of you sprayed material on it, like um, mm. protectant? I'm curious, just to know. Uh, maybe it's, it, I don't, I wanted to say repellent, but it's not repellent, but it's like, it's a protectant, right? Where you, whether it protects from water or, um, yeah, I think if it protects from water, it will protect from color transfer. Yeah. It Does it work? What brand is it? Do you need to spray it again? Do you, uh, how do you do it? Do you spray it and you straight away use or leave it there for a couple of hours? I'd be interested to know because I am very attracted to material bags. And it's definitely concerning. I think for me, I'm only concerned because, you know, the moment you modify it, then if you ever have an issue and you bring it back to the store, they might deny you. Like if they ever That's know that cool. you did something to it. Um, but I do know that people, I, I'm sure some people do it. Uh, and in a case of for, sh for sure, like those fabric sneakers, my husband, he does it for sure. Like if it's a completely just all fabric and it's white as a paper, then he will do it. Um, but he has no issues with that. And I guess with shoes, it's a little different. Mm. Shoes does touch the, the floor, so it gets dirty very fast. With bags, I always, yeah, I always don't know what to do if, if I was in that situation. I would tend to not do anything because um, I've never done anything <laughs> to my bags. But I... I think about the warranty and I think about all oh, having to bring it in if there's something so I don't do it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, so I think Joanne is saying that she's done it before. So yes, I have. I had the Chloe Woody Tote, but it didn't work. I had jean color oh. transform. Oh, so even if you spray it, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, but Charmaine has used... Okay. Charmaine W, I use okay. Colonial Carbon Pro on my Chanel bags and everything not Hermes. <laughs> no issue at all from using it. Good info. Actually, I'm going to share this because I'm about, I just got this. So I'm going to post, um, not sponsored, just gifted, but I'm going to post this because this is a leather cleaner that I got from one of those reseller stores that they specialize in Hermes. It's a leather cleaner and moisturizer. And I, when I took it home, I was looking at it. I was like, oh, it's made in Germany, but it, and it's formulated by Colonil. I love Colonil. Colonil is uh, one, of my, one of the best leather cleaners. So this is, a, I think, their own brand, but they, it's called Lux Savior. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can buy it from anywhere. But yeah, go and check that out. Lux Savior, Lux Savior, Luxavior dot com. It's a leather gel, uh, cleaner and moisturizer, and it 
it works on Hermes bags. So I am going to like keep a little bit in my jar here <laughs> and then put it in a little bag, bring it along with my handbag. <laughs> <That's the case. laughs> because it cleans and it moisturizes. So I just wanted to share that because I saw the word colonial and I kind of remembered this. Mm. It's a very interesting texture. So. You just take a little bit from the cap that was recommended. You just take a little bit from the cap. And if you get any stains, you can like polish it off, clean it off. And it also moisturizes the leather as well. So I'm have you Have you used it yet? I haven't, but I am going oh, okay. to. Like I, because they specialize. I mean, they only, they, they're a reseller. They only sell, they mainly sell Hermes bags. And this is oh. what they use on their bags to clean the bags, you know, when they come in and moisturize mm. the bags. It's like, mm, I trust them. So I'm going to keep a little bit here and bring it along with me <laughs> everywhere yeah. I go. I love the low, low containers like this because it's travel friendly. So travel friendly. So little, yeah. like cute. Yeah. And I put a little Ziploc bag and it will live in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good idea. <laughs> oh, you use Carbon Pro too. Yeah. I have Carbon. I don't know if my Carbon Pro is the, oh, sorry, my Colonil is the Carbon Pro, but I, I do have Colonil and I have their leather, leather gel cleaner. It works. It really, really is such a great um great product i used colonial uh colonial leather gel like something like a cleaner similar to this but not as liquidy on my hermes uh garden party it cleaned all the stains it kept the leather really soft and moisturized yeah that was uh, something that i used Ooh, big more you like all these tips, huh? I know. I tried about 10 different brands of cleaners. Recently, I came across the brand Big More. And I got a pen mark, pen mark out of a Birkin Togo. Big I More. To write it down. <laughs> yeah, we need to write this down. Okay, let me just... Because uh, I'll forget after this. So, I'm going to wear all of those one. Big More... I know about Colonel since before, so yeah, th this brand it's but not that I will buy Colonel. So mm. let's write that down. Big more, I'm putting it in my phone. That's how, that's how committed. <laughs> Big more. Interesting. Was the pen mark inside or outside of the bag, Charmaine? Must be outside. Oh. Mm -hmm. Big more, especially if it's outside, then uh, I would freak out as well. <laughs> like, Sandra's got another yeah. one. I just ordered a fabric protectant from Have Deluxe for my Deville. Unfortunately, Chanel said they won't cover the fabric part mm. Mm. under warranty. Yeah, that is the only issue, or that's the main issue when we do some funky thing to the bag. Uh, they, they kind of void the warranty and they say that, well, it's because of what you did. Therefore, that happened to your bag. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. <laughs> it was outside. Someone was walking around with a pen and stabbed my bag. Oh, my I, God. I would go. I would go insane. I would freak out. <laughs> yeah, but it's too late. The deed is done, right? <laughs> I would still freak out. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't I'm be like, you oh, were able to get it out. No. Though. I would wrestle that person now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but after you wrestle that person, what can they do, right? No, but then I would just be sorry for myself. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> it's the same outcome anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, when that someone is your three year old son, unfortunately. Oh, okay, never mind. You, you, know, you would just like <laughs> wrestle yourself. <laughs> I was wondering who walks around with a pen and stabs your bag? <laughs> Kids. Actually, 
I do not bring my handbags, any mm. of my luxury handbags to parties where there are kids around. I know. If you have kids, th- 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 there you go. <laughs> they stab <laughs> your bag with pens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally agree. I I still sometimes bring my bags, but I will bring a bag that I know is a bit more hard wearing. Oh yeah, yeah. For, that Usually okay, black, then. yes. Uh, and then um, of course when I'm at their house or something, uh, or if they come over, then I'll hide it. But this they end up finding it anyway. Uh, especially I don't know why my nephew he always just likes to look at what's inside my bag. He always asks me, "What's inside? What is that? What is that? What is?" That? It's like I find it really cute though. I really like it, like the interaction and just like the memory that I have from when he's like so little because he's just gonna grow up and not do that anymore, right? But um, so I still sometimes bring it. It just depends on my mood for sure, on my mood, uh, and then sometimes I'll. Completely avoid it. Bring Longchamp. That's all good. He can carry it. He can like ask me whatever it is. He can try to open it and see. That's fine. <laughs> I no totally bring Longchamp because when my my niece and nephew they were young and my ne- my niece would like I like it. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the hair would go hi <laughs> fingernails and all fingernails yeah. dirt whatever True. she's ate you know at lunchtime four hours ago it'd be like. <laughs> and you're like, ah! you can't do anything, right? Because they're so fast. They're so fast. So, yeah. So I, I've learned a couple of lessons. Like, no, no, no more. Like, I won't be bringing my constants anywhere near my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a white bag, especially. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. But uh, yeah. So, good thing you had Big More, or you found the brand Big More. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out after this live. I'm gonna take a look at it. <laughs> Can never have enough protectant and moisturizers mm-hmm. and cleaners when you have so many luxury bags. It's good to have some that really work. Okay, Sandra, I don't Chanel does not cover the fabric part even if you don't use anything on it. What? Yeah, they can't, right? If you think about it, they can't they can't really fix a fabric like once it's damaged it's damaged right you can salvage it as much as possible like if it was a stain you can try to clean it but like oh i don't think they would do it for you yeah that makes sense they can't do anything it's just the same as how lv doesn't cover the can i think they don't do they don't really cover any canvas wear and tear. If it was a defect from like just malfunction or or uh, if, if the canvas were to crack on its own prematurely, I think those are exceptions. But beyond that, if you just have wear and tear, if you have, I don't know, dirty like pen mark on it, I don't think you can't do anything. They'll help you clean it maybe. I feel like mm-hmm. LV is pretty good at that. They will... If you bring it in, they will try to help you clean it. Uh, not necessarily the canvas. I For the leather, I know they do because I, I have brought a long time ago when I used to have the Alma BB and I bought it pre-loved. There was only one little scuff. It's white. Like the scuff is white, but there's no indentation, nothing. It's just a white scuff. And I brought it in and my essay just took it in. And a few minutes later, she comes back out and it's completely gone. So they can clean it for you. Um, hmm. But uh, beyond that, I don't know if they, like if it was canvas, I don't know what they can really do. Like if there was a puncture or whatever, like they probably couldn't do anything for you. Oh, that sucks, right? But uh, yeah. I suddenly remember I wanted to show this to everyone. Because since we're talking about cleaning, I was actually at the LV store and that was a couple of months ago. Well, maybe in the next live, since we're almost at the end. But uh, I saw the essay sitting at the side, and she was using this product to clean the brass from, you know, just like, you know, cleaning the bag. And I was like, oh, I need to see what you're using. And it was just one of those regular. Is it Brasso? Was it Brasso? I took a picture of it. She, she, it was the LVSA. She was 
cleaning the bag. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang. Okay, if any of you know this red, there you go. The the brand was like it was so it was Picard something. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, it was. It looks like this, like a uh, maroon cream thing. I could not get the name. I it was so, it was like to the end, <laughs> like a toothpaste squeezing it. Yeah, it was an LV. So if you have any bras and you see this in one of those hardware stores, she says it's just the regular hardware store kind of thing. Red and white something pack oof it's not a good picture anyway okay all right i think that's it all right you see people <laughs> talk about kids stuff you know back yep kids are fast <laughs> washable crayons yes yes all right then i think we will end here so we will see you next week on Amy's channel, remember that it's going to be the special time. I'm just going to put up that one again because um, just in case. Yeah, so it's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so that is, that is like, yeah, <laughs> that next is week. 10 hours before our usual time. <laughs> so it it's is a lot earlier. Time. Yeah, mm -hmm. the opposite time earlier. of what we normally do. Yeah, but uh, it will be good for our UK for folks. our European viewers. Yeah, yeah because yeah. obviously, because with um, different guests, they when they are just so polar, like just so polar opposite of time zones with us, and also their availability, of course. Then you know, once in a while, we do have to switch times. But yeah, it will be good for our European folks, London, Paris, um, anybody in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah in be, asia yeah. and australia you guys will be asleep so unless you're well so we like to sleep late so a lot of us like to sleep late so mm, true it is a saturday <laughs> it's a saturday it's, a, it's like late friday night you have nothing to do get a you know snack we like to supper here so 1 a.m and yeah we'll see you next week on amy's channel yeah it will be really fun actually are we still taking questions no, I think we have more than enough. Yeah, because okay. remember, we only have an hour and a half with Yeah, Paris. we only have an hour with her. She can That's only uh, do one an hour and a half, and then she has to go pick up her kids. Um, but yeah, it's good that we have it. Well, she said probably a little bit more, um, but she has to leave, leave. Like at one point, she really has to leave so that she mm. can go pick up her kids. Yeah, but I yeah, remember sure at the at last live as well, she had to go, go like, she had to go like, oh. I had to go, I had to go. Yeah. Like, to it up. There's yeah. already so many questions. We even have to pick from the ones that we have already. So, uh, but it'll be really, really fun. And I think it will be a good discussion next week. One of the questions is kind of like a large topic. So <laughs> I think we'll spend some time on that one already. And it'll be, it's gonna nice. be fun. Yeah. So make sure you join us next week. Amy's side, Amy's side. And then uh, we will see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye.